Oh, it almost restarted. Hey, thanks for dealing with the uh, ska for a couple minutes there, folks. But uh, I thought it was on brand, on trend, on uh, theme, perhaps is the correct word to use uh, for this episode of SketchUp Live. Hey, everybody, I'm Matt Robison. Thanks for tuning in. I'm with my co-host, Aaron Dietzen. Hey, guys, how's it going? Uh, and hey, you might have uh, noticed from the finger skateboard in the beginning of this uh, starting soon part. But uh, yeah, we're going to be bringing the skateboard theme, the skate park idea going on in the SketchUp Live stream today. So we're uh, modeling Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1, the very first one, the very first level in the very first game. Now, have you ever played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Aaron? It's It's been a while, but yeah, that was, uh, it's classic. It's like, I mean, I can't say for 100% sure, but I'm fairly certain it was the first skateboard video game i don't know if there's one before there's several now but uh yeah that started a series and it started a it's kind of a thing there often imitated never duplicated that's right one of a kind except that there's others like it <laughs> sure <laughs> um yeah so i'm psyched um yeah yeah i've got some you know some skateboarding in my past that i've done so uh oh, yeah. i you know, love the tony hawk games and uh you know, this is a nice, easy level for me. I'm not a pro modeler like some of these other guys we got on here, you know, the the Aaron's and the Tyson's and the Eric's of the world. So um, I'm having a little a little more approachable model for today. But, uh, yeah, I thought it would be a good fit for me uh, to show off some SketchUp today. Yeah, it's perfect. I think I think because uh, you've uh, you've live modeled before you did your nursery, right? Last time you modeled. Yes, that's right. For my son, Blaine uh yeah. yeah did his nursery so um a little bit larger room this time but uh you know and not as kid friendly probably <laughs> <laughs> as we're gonna see but um yes i did um throw up some uh reference images on the forum thread so in the description you can see the thread to the forum uh post that you can uh see some of the images that i'm going to use today um are there any plugs or anything before we want to get started? Um, we uh, so we just wrapped up our pre-sale on uh, Basecamp, so at this point we're uh, back up to regular prices. So good job, everybody who got in there. But uh, still, you still plenty of time to buy tickets. So come check that out. I don't think there's anything else going on really. If this is uh, I'm not nothing that compares with Matt live modeling. Tony Hawk, you know, I mean, yeah, that's the what, what could stand up to that? That's the feature Jeez. presentation for today. That's the main. That's right. Show. Yeah. Everything else is a distant second. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Cool. Well, uh, let's get into it. All right. Yeah. So Fire away. I. Uh, yeah, I think I want to kind of I don't want to not finish this and I feel like I'm a relatively slow <laughs> modeler, so I definitely am going to try to go as fast as I can, which probably is too slow for you folks. Uh, but um, yes, let's start out with, uh, I found this one image that's like, it's a straight up overhead view. I think most of these came from the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. There was a version of this level that was in it um, as like, you know, kind of a throwback level or whatever. And uh, I think that's where most of these came from. Um, mm. But anyways, yeah, so somebody put this overhead view. So I will start just with a straight up image. Uh, putting it in here. And I guess I'll trace over this. I know some people change like their color of their edges if they're going to. This is definitely dark around the sides, you know, so I figured yeah. I might as well change the old color there. That's great. Pro tip right off the bat. Look at that. Bring it. <laughs> Um, yep. <laughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I know some people like explode images and, you know, draw s over separately or what's your normal, like r routine when you're tracing over an image in this kind of scenario? With something like this, I would probably ex well, cause you can't, uh, I would try to lock it, right? That'd be my first thing, mm. but you can't lock just an image. So that's where I would explode and then immediately group. And then you can right click and lock at that point. Lock. Locking just because you're gonna start drawing stuff on top. And if you try to select it, you can't 
there's a chance it'll accidentally select that. The other thing would be throwing it on its own tag too. So, uh, yeah. But now it's locked, Boom. so I can't do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Right now, lock. Right now, you can boom. Yep. Yeah. Pro, pro moves right off the bat. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Uh, let's start tracing this thing. Do it. Yeah, luckily, this level is pretty, like, you know, I guess rectilinear, at least on the surface of it. So. Yeah, don't have to worry about dimensions. It's all just kind of relative at this point. Um, I guess when you get it all modeled, there's probably one or two things in here that you could guess the reference off of, but uh, oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I was looking at some like footage of the game earlier, and um, nice. Got a face that means it closed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and certain things, yeah, I think we can guesstimate based on how how tall the uh, character models are and stuff that's true um okay that's as far as i th thought ahead. <laughs> uh okay nailed it step one done so i wonder if i should like actually work in this or no hmm okay so obviously um, i still want to like draw on top of this but you know the face is here what would you do? <laughs> Took five minutes uh, in and um, yeah. So what if I was to do this, I think yeah, I'd probably model flat, like looking at some of the the, the shapes and that kind of stuff. Um yeah, I would probably model some more do some more 2D drawing. Uh and then build those build those obstacles up around the edge. So before you have too much stuff like that big uh, corner, that bowl right there, and mm -hmm. yeah, all that, I would probably just start by extruding that out. And then I would end up pulling the walls up on the outside probably afterwards. Okay. Uh, just because just it's so easy to get stuck on the outside of a wall and stuff like that, so. Yeah, good call. And so I noticed you called this section a bowl here. Uh, you have some, yeah, that's... go ahead. I would say the chunk on the, the corner would be called a bowl corner right there. This little um, guy? Yeah. Because uh, you know all the nomenclature because you have some experience with skate parks. Is that true? That's right. I did. I managed uh, a skate park for, I don't know, a couple of years. Right before I came to SketchUp, actually. Mm. Good. Oh, that was your last job before starting at SketchUp? I didn't know that. Yeah, that, I mean that was it was a it was kind of a a part time thing. I was I had other income producing <laughs> job, but uh, yeah, that was kind of what I did with a a buddy. It was it was pretty fun. It was a good time. Yeah, all the skate parks are always fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm using four-sided okay. arcs here. I kind of was looking at some of the references. Let's see if I can pull some of those up. And they are, you know, they're kind of blocky. Yeah. I think with which works pretty well for what I'm Definitely doing. not high poly, high detail. Look at that thing. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have something. graphics at their finest. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this one's even like three. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I'm not doing super high fidelity just to stay true to the original artist's, you know, vision. I think that works. Nice. Yeah, just straight up tracing. That's like my the extent of my you know creativity when it comes to modeling is like, hey, I can trace stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing it you're doing it great it's uh it's interesting to see because you know we, we talk about this all the time so we have uh multiple people uh modeling regularly on our content and it's it's always fun to see how different approaches to things you know to see like 
this is how you're going about it, which would probably be different from what I would do or from what Tyson would do or from what Eric would do. It's it's kind of cool to get to see that happen. Yeah. Uh, that's what I hope anyways here. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I have a little bit of a cough. You'll have to excuse me. Uh, it's been a little bit under the weather. It's now's the time to do that. It's definitely, uh, yeah. Since basically thing. November when, uh, when my son started daycare, yeah, just, uh, never stops. <laughs> yeah. It'll be over in 18 years. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, okay. So here's a question. I kind yeah. of, based on the other um, videos and stuff that I looked at, I have kind of an idea of how tall these ramps, I want these ramps to be. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm thinking like this one would be 12 feet tall, right? But when I do 12 feet, obviously this is way too tall for this image. Right. So would right, you like, yeah. The image, because because your image was arbitrarily just brought in. Mm -hmm we'd have to find something else to scale the model to before you can use 12. Right. So that's on the ground. Right. Yeah. So I think there, if you zoom in there, aren't there sheets of plywood? Uh, yes. I remember they're kind of, I think these ones are maybe you try one of those and see if, see if you scale large side to eight feet, what it, what ends up happening. Cause you, okay. I do so, remember. Yeah. I'm sure. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, um, normally when people scale stuff, they scale it like with a, you know, kind of a, an on axis line, yeah. but I guess you could scale from any line, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's just draw a line segment, uh, scale that thing. And then just hit eight. You put enter. And that notice it's saying it's resizing the entire model. That's important. All right, yeah. now try pulling it up 12. See if that looks a little more realistic. Okay, cool, yeah. That's I was gonna say, idea. I kind of remember looking at this and being a little bit creeped out that the skate park had so much stuff laying around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just seems super dangerous, you know? Like. Oh my gosh, that's gonna he's gonna kill themselves. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of like oil on the ground. I'm like, I don't know if that works yeah, well for no. bearings. No, it's not. Oh, maybe that's self-lubricating. That's that's the self-lubricating <laughs> ground. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this almost needs to be a uh Bezier, you, it's that that'll probably work. That'll work good enough. Oh yeah. You almost want a non-symmetric arc here. So whenever you draw an arc, of course it's going to be even, but that's probably good enough. If you have uh yeah, have this. There you go. Okay, so Bezier's start point, yep. end point, right? Right. And then first corner. And then this one would be more like that, that. And then the next one would be more. I guess yeah, you want probably. It yeah. I would probably go maybe, maybe like halfway on that first one. Yeah, like right around there. And then pull the top one to about halfway also. Yeah, there you okay. go. Okay. Okay. A little, little cleaner, uh, a little cleaner swoop there. Yeah. <laughs> it's still pretty so that abrupt transition, but I guess it's a video game. So. That is true. Yeah, I don't know that uh, the obstacles in here were ever built to exist in real life, so probably got to give a little bit of grace on that one. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I have my profile here. So now the best way to go through the path is just kind of select it like this. If I'm going to do a follow me here, you think? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I think so. I think it's I mean, we could do some tricks to try to do that selection. It's a couple of sides. So I would grab it, weld it, follow. Yeah. Done and done. Uh, okay. I mean, using this like search feature, I guess, what is it called? Fetch or something? This search. It's pretty nice. Before I like you would, you know, go through all these different menus trying to figure out the right tool, but. Um... 
Look at that. That worked. Hey. The rest of the model just kind of built itself off of that, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, so here's another question is, I want to do materials on this kind of as I go is my hope. Um, and I have these set of materials that somebody, I think this is from the Dreamcast version. Somebody ripped these from the game. And so um, I have some like, you know, ramp materials in here. Is now the time to do that? Or like, would it be, you know, kind of like a hidden geometry situation and projecting onto these? Or how would you add materials to this particular item? Um, I'm learning here too. I don't know if I've ever added materials in the live stream before, but oh. um... <laughs> you're not the right guy to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, how do you do this? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think uh if you wanted to do it as you go, yeah, this would be would probably be a great time to just start adding. Um I do think, yeah, I think making each of these obstacles their own groups, you can work in them is a good job. Also, um yeah, it's kind of tough the way they break down. You'll have to do a little bit of selection, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh but yeah, now now would be a great time to start that. So coming in here, turning on hidden, and then grabbing, yeah, just those surfaces. I guess I could just do them one by one, huh? And so the idea here, so I just grab these, right? Yeah, and then put that plywood on there, and then you're gonna grab the chunks from the piece next to it and put metal on those. And so do I have to like do a projected texture? I guess I'll just try it and see. So yeah, this is this is, this is the learning opportunity. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Throw wood on there and see what happens. So, OK, so I'm going to add a new texture. From my handy dandy SketchUp Live folder here. Um. And what were those ones? How do I, okay. It's called ramp. That's the right one, right? Oh yeah. Mm, sure. I just apply it and scale it as, as needed. So I you know some people do. All right, so that's not gonna work. No. But now is when we can do it. So it, it does look like it's tight. I mean, the way it's orienting is nice. That should all work. Uh, it's just a scale thing. So I think what you could do, you can only scale one piece at a time. So you select one. Yeah, there you go. Texture. Could I like, could I project this if like, if this was its own face or whatever? Yeah. I... If you... Yeah, if you took that through to the other side, let's just spin that model right around and make a rectangle right there. You could project it onto that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, whoops, these are outside. Context. Ooh, I was I went through before this and I was like, okay, I'm gonna make shortcuts for everything that I'll need, and then I did not do a paste in place, but I should have. That's a popular one. That's a good one. There you go. Now you can actually position that, uh, make it bigger, fill the hole. Oops, I guess I'll put this at the bottom, right? And just like here. Sure. Yeah, give that a shot. Okay. And then texture projected. Projected. Sample, Sample it. it. This. Oh, I guess, oh, let me give it a shot. Okay. Yeah. Look, we're good you here. Until great on that section. Turns into a bowling yeah. alley over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that, I like it. It's not. I do feel, I do feel obligated at this point to uh, do my best mad impression and be a soundboard and uh, say, say. Oh, smart. Yeah, very smart.
I won't brag or anything, but I, I think I even beat everybody in the chat on that one. What's the <laughs> matter, guys? How come Matt gets to model for 20 minutes and doesn't get a hard time from anyone? Ugh. My friends, they're leaving me hanging over here. Okay. Taking it easy on you, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, cool. There's some weirdness on the end. I'm just going to... I think if I I'm like, how do I kind of fix that? Where I'm sorry, I missed where. Oh, sorry. So like on this, do you get this kind of on the Ooh. bottom? Is something not quite straight there? That's weird. So yes, it's like it's turned a little bit. Oh yeah. yeah oh, I might. Hmm. Did it get turned or? Yeah, I think when I was uh, positioning, I must have not like snapped to the axis here, or the texture's not. That's right. Either one's possible. Okay, so this wants to snap here. I guess I can just kind of zoom in all the way. Try to position it. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Um. What you might try doing is using the other pins. So go to position, yeah, turn fixed pins off. And then, yeah, it's still going to be tough to stretch it just a little bit. Sometimes what I do is go, go ahead, click that one again and drag it away and then release it. Yes, yeah, so like drop it there so it's way out of whack like that. Mm -hmm. And then, now pick it up so just click on it don't don't click and hold just pick it up like that and just move it up just a teeny bit like just a little bit above where it was and then drag that up see oh, if that so. helps making these super super small yeah so now Oh, interesting. Maybe a little bit. Hmm, I guess uh, this is why we don't do materials on the back. live stream, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's some fine tuning. Um, yeah, I think I think it's the textures. The other thing you do is, is just drag it a little bit bigger so that bottom gets chopped off. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just yeah, go here. Just yeah, just go. Just go. A, yeah, yeah, like that, I and then drag it down. Right now. Okay. Chop it. And then and I reapply. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, cool. And go back into that hidden and then uh, stick the metal on that hole. Yes. Um, so, do this the I way that you this? suggested originally? I would probably do a group select. Or actually, here's what's easier. Um, Go grab your bowling alley this over thing? to the left. Yeah, select that the same way you did the other one. And reapply that same material that's already in your paint bucket to this. And then you can just fill. Like this? Yeah. Well, you, no, just uh, don't sample the new one. Go ahead and go back to. Go sample on the other side of the wall again. Oh, it's projected from the same side. So um, I, um... Yeah. Oops, that's good. Gonna... Sample that. Yeah. All right, is that going to work? That's my selection here. Oh, it's all falling apart. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That works. Now, if you were to go into that that corner, yeah, uh, go get get your metal in. Now you can actually use the modifier key with paint bucket to paint connected faces. Oh no, but that's projected now. Never mind. It's not going to work the same. Yeah, you still have to do some selecting because
here's the thing. Could I um, break this so it's just like with the hidden geometry? Maybe I'll just try, mm -hmm. start to do it. Um, Slugor on uh, YouTube is throwing out the extension through paint from Fredo, which is a great extension. And it does make this kind of stuff a little bit easier to do when you're getting into, uh, you know, editing, uh, painting odd shapes, you know, yes. painting inside of a house, big rectangle, that's, that's an easy one. But when you start to get into curved shapes, there are certain extensions and through paint is definitely one that makes this kind of thing easier. A good call. Yes. Excellent yes. Call. This is what you're doing right here is great. And I was actually thinking about this. I was going, you know, maybe it would have made more sense with this to not weld before you did the follow me. So still, oh, right. Still, uh, you know, do the follow me. Everything you did good. But if after you'd selected the path, if you had not uh, welded, then there'd actually be breaks at each of these, which in hindsight, <laughs> hindsight being 2020 and all, uh, would have been great and i wouldn't have been able to brute force this though so you got one line you missed down there oh ooh, good eye nice okay perfect so in theory now boom no no boom um, oh wait did you double click no it's just single click huh wonder if one of those end lines snapped Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, so probably the same or maybe the bottom one. Yeah, See, this is the kind of fun you can tune in for when Matt's in the hot, the modeling <laughs> hot seat over here. Oh, God. The only reason the rest of us don't trip up on that when we live models is because we've done it more. We've just already <laughs> hurt ourselves on that one before. Yeah. I would I would just redraw that bottom one. Yeah, I wonder. Oops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still. Okay. Um, all right. No, this is this is an interesting uh situation that you can run into, absolutely. Um, so the way that I would go about this is with your hidden geometry turned on. Yes. If you pick one of those little rectangles that makes the, the left side of the corner and see if, oh, if it doesn't break or if it, yeah, I guess they're, I guess it's hidden, but yeah. So see if there's any of those, but I guess those are broken by hidden line, even if it's not. So that doesn't work as well. Um, all right, I'm gonna try to walk you through it, an idea I have if you want it. <laughs> okay, I'm also I'm also like half an hour in, and I'm happy to abort and just That's come true. back to this. All right, so just just turn turn your model and do a group select across where that line you just drew is. You turn your model even more. Oh, like yeah, this basically way? trying to do a group select. Yeah, make sure you go left to right. Yeah, so do that, but with hidden geometry turned on. Right, and go up into your properties and turn off soften and smooth. Um, or into the info, I mean, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Hit that, hit it two times. All right. And now turn hidden geometry off. And now you should be able to select it. Or just the, uh, yeah, there you go. Nice. Okay. Good idea. So, yeah, I'm guessing something just didn't snap a slightly off, something like that. Okay. All right. So here's some metal on there. Let's let's keep moving. Yes. So can I just straight up do this or no? That's not going to work. You can do anything. I <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> Will it turn out good? So it's not a projected texture right now, so it's going to look wonky. Yeah. I would do the exact same thing. Go to the back the way, where you were on the back side, the, the large corner. Yeah, over there on the right side. And paint this material on that corner and make it projected. Okay. So could I like, I'm trying to get the right angle. Does the angle matter or no for projected? Um, I would do the same thing you did on the other side, like just paint it right, use that face right there to paint it onto and scale it. 
See, I would try to cut corners first. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be my first interest would be like, can I just throw this thing on here and will it look okay? Yeah. Yeah, just try to line up the yellow at the top and then. Okay. So I would try making sure that's projected and throw that on and see how it looks. Yeah, so you might be right. So maybe take that piece out now, copy that copy that face you just created with the material on the other side. This one? Yeah. And then angle it 45 degrees. It doesn't matter if it's on the front or the back, right? No, it doesn't matter where. Yeah, as long as it's it's just that. So, what is that like? 135. Look at you with the math over here. No, it's totally memorization. Yeah, so now <laughs> apply that and see what happens. Should I also rotate it like? Um... No, I I think that because if this way it should line up the top right if it's still oh. lined up with the other piece. That's close. Yeah. If I did, okay. I don't want to like like I said, I'm spending way too much time here, but. Hmm. Uh, I'm off axis. I'm getting scared. I'm getting squirrely. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. This is good. Um, I think that's that's awesome. I think that is uh, for for what we're doing. I think that's great. And I am just going to copy this around everywhere. I guess this isn't the same angle, is it? No. I was going to ask if you were if you were using. <laughs> If, if you were paying attention to that, I wasn't sure. But doing what you just did before, so turn your hidden geometry on mm -hmm. and doing the select of those hidden lines and just turning off soft and smooth is going to make it real quick. Yeah, boom. Do it, do it. Like that. There you go. And, and then turn, grab here. the next one. Yeah. And okay. again, hindsight being what it is, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a good... 30% of the stuff I do, I think of a better way to have done it afterwards. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling that's what's going to be like for me on this stream too. But uh, you know what? Sometimes you just got to right. do it in order to know what you did wrong. That's right. And then you can just keep that hold on to that piece right there mm -hmm. and then bring it around to the next corner oh there's a chunk in the middle too oh yeah okay oh, come on man we can use our i guess we can't use our same technique this is a different this is warehouse 2.0 that's right we don't need that uh, so <laughs> okay um so this corner is a little weird and obviously this side I guess this side, you just do the same kind of thing with these, right? And then... Is that corner? Yeah. Yeah, same, same thing. Uh, you might try even doing it from the top. So look down from above. That way you won't grab lines. Yeah, so if you turn on hidden there. Oh, like doing it like this. Yeah. Which, I mean, you got that one good. But I was saying for the next one, for the transition to that Audi corner. Yeah. Yeah, good call. I might just leave this how it is for now. I like it. <laughs> um, oops. I want to do this. And then... You can actually just sample off of that other chunk of... Okay. Yeah. Boom. Okay, cool. Getting it. It's materials, yeah. folks. It's materials. Next level. Do, do, do. We're cooking. We're not cooking, but we're like cooking. It. Okay, so this one, you know, we have a shot of it here, is pretty straightforward. I think this is like four feet tall. Let's try it. Yeah, looks. Sure. 
And then I did have a texture for this. I think it's called Ledge. I went mm. through and named all these before, so I like it. I think we're not. Uh... Okay. So what are the odds it would scale right? <laughs> not good. Yeah. Well, that might just be positioning. It might just. Ah, nope. A little bit. A little bit. Here. Looks nice. And then now if I, oops, if I sample this, and it's not projected, it should work for this. It should work, yeah. This one's I'm guessing weird on every one of these textures is going to be a little bit off like that. Yeah. Yeah, why'd they do that? I guess the game is a little askew, you know. It's not exactly straightforward. <laughs> this is a little, it's a little punk, you know. That's right. That's right. Um, I'm, I don't, I don't, obviously I don't know. Um, but, oh, what you could do here, Matt, too, to do the top there, mm -hmm. you could sample right off of your picture underneath, too. Oh, right. So I just so have to unlock texture, this. So you could just go... And then, do I have to go into it to sample it or no? No, I should be able to just pick it right off there and okay. then apply it. So. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. That's the real deal. You, you could do that for any flat surface. So even the top of the, the ramp over on the right, top of that obstacle, you should be able to just fill it with what's in your bucket. Boom. Oh, See, man. now we're going quick. That's right. Just, Thanks for the tip. Look at that. We just, just cut our uh, our modeling time like a third off, I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> is that actually an obstacle right there that you're covering, or is that just garbage piled in the middle? This thing? Yeah. This is a taxi with like ramps up to it. Um, oh, that's right. Right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Skip that for now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I can do this piece here. What am I at? So yeah, we're we're definitely got some. Uh, we've had some skate talk go by, but uh, I'll throw this out to the chat. Uh, anybody anybody got a a favorite video game they're playing right now? We got some video game stuff happening here, so uh, just curious. Matt was talking about his uh, his most recent video game that he played is the one he's modeling right now. So it's been a little while. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely has been a while since I played a game. I honestly think the the last time I like played a game, played a game was Skyrim on Xbox 360. That's not a bad one. I I liked it as a game, but it's definitely yeah old by today's standards. We got some got some stuff coming in. Uh, Super Mario Wonder, No Man's Sky, and Minecraft. No Man's Sky is an interesting one because uh, it's not often you get to release the same video game multiple times, but they they just keep doing it. They keep changing it and releasing it and releasing it and then changing it. Load Runner, James Doyle's playing. Ooh. Polya and RDR2. Oh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Polya. What's what's Polya Pelia? P-A-L-I-A. What's that, Keggy? Yeah, what is that? It sounds exotic. Or at least cool. Okay, part of this is done. We're 40 minutes in um let's see okay these are some easy wins yeah there you um go. these are two kickers you can't see from this angle but uh here these yeah so it's I like do... they slope up to about the same height as the ledge too so mm -hmm. so i guess I'm... so if this was an eight so this is probably eight by eight foot or two eight by fours right I mean, in real life, yeah, but who knows what the scale is because that 
that little ledge to grind is four feet. I think about how oh. tall it is and like, <laughs> yeah, that's a little, oof. yeah. So just I would just go I, arbitrary on it. I would just, yeah, just, yeah. I, I watched a rather lengthy video at one point about the concept of video game scaling. And it was, it was a very interesting thing to watch, to think about how, like, if you made a video game room, a house, like the same size as what it is in real life, it would be really hard to move through because thinking about a video game character moves and you got to fit a camera behind him or got to have room to move around. And that's why when you go into like all halls look like they're six and a half feet wide and <laughs> yeah. The same things apply as happening here. We had uh, realistic size obstacles here. They'd seem teeny and dull. And if like your biggest Ollie took you like a foot and a half off the ground, you'd be like, what? <laughs> Boring. <laughs> All right. We got a, uh, another Baldur's Gate. King's Quest. Oh, that, that's a classic one. I actually got my daughter playing that. That's a. A good one. Old school. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, yep. Cool. You're, so you're actually like modeling out the plywood at this point. <laughs> I don't know. This is just how I would do this. I don't know. Uh, it's, it works. You do your thing. I like it. I did find it. I do remember playing this game and thinking it was kind of weird how cavernous everything seemed to be when you, when you played, you know, like you're just kind of all by yourself in this big open space. <laughs> yeah, it's like nobody else is there. It's just like boxes yeah. that you're knocking over. If you ever play the game without music, it definitely feels that way. It's it's kind of got like a post-apocalyptic skate park feel to it for mm -hmm. sure. Oh, you remember the you remember the game uh, Skate or Die? That's a game? Or was that the name of it? Skate or die. And then the fees <laughs> would come if you stopped skating. If you weren't skating hard and fast enough. Uh, uh I gotta say, I don't recall that, but probably probably just probably old. Or somebody in the chat's gotta remember skate or die. <laughs> it's like this is like an eight bit game and like you're skating around and Super basic tricks, jumps, kick, 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 jump. And then eventually this this big voice would come in, skate or die. And these swarm of bees would come. And you had to keep kicking and move fast enough so the swarm of bees didn't apparently kill you. So, yep. That's um, quality, yeah. quality 80s stuff right there. That does seem... Um, yep, I, I just looked it up 1987. Hey, weren't you earlier saying Tony Hawk was the first skateboarding video game? I, I, I stand corrected right now because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was before the uh, Ty saying it was originally released for the Commodore 64. So, I, I don't, does the Commodore even count as a console is that pre-consoles it was like kind of a hybrid between console and uh, as a home computer slash video game thing yeah kind of yeah wasn't the joke that you could kind of convince your parents you were using it for uh, that's right i need it school stuff. computer yeah yeah it was a home computer that came with controllers i believe yeah <laughs> I didn't have that. My my dad owned a uh, software company, so uh, 
we had a computer computer and uh video game was just unabashedly a video game tool tool <laughs> uh thing player game yeah i like it it's looking good okay so i guess if i wanted to cut these I could make all these unique because they're components. Right. Okay. And then go into one and then just kind of yep. find this intersection exactly. here. That is perfect. Then push pull it and you got it done. Bingo. We're skating now, baby. Now. Ooh. Can you imagine skating up to something like that steep and just like <laughs> launching to collect the Coffee. letter S? Oh, boy. Okay. I love it. Component. That's awesome. Um, nice. I'm using the freehand tool to draw this little oil patch here. So that's what I'm doing. You guys are so good at like narrating what you do normally. And I'm like, oh, I always forget to do that. I just do stuff. <laughs> so. It works. It works. Wow. You really do got this, uh, this whole, uh, what did you call it? texture thing <laughs> uh, got this figured out yeah i said i didn't come prepared but it's like well i did prepare a little bit <laughs> <laughs> you were tyson prepared but you were a step past aaron prepared that's what, what i'm hearing uh i want to make this a group okay and then all right, I guess this is a question that's bubbling up uh, as uh, Keggy and Slugor are are talking about this. What's the first video game you remember playing? Anybody uh, recall? Mm, for me, it's definitely Atari 2600. My grandparents had one. I think River Raid. Mm. Have you ever played right. River Raid? I actually went back and played it um, a few years back. And I'm like, this thing holds up for Atari 2600. And like a, a lot of games on there are like, <laughs> this is not playable. Like I get at the time when people were like, oh, this is, you know, cool. But hey, River 8 holds up, man. I was thinking about the other day about uh, another classic, Pitfall. I don't know if anybody remembers Pitfall. Yeah. But uh, one of the things that, that kind of amazed me about that was that like the levels were randomly connected like you couldn't you didn't just know you would go to the right and go to the alligator level it was like different because you would randomly choose a different level so i think that that seems like cutting edge for the time yeah 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 a couple of the greats on 2600 yeah, good stuff Yep, there's a, another River Raid call out. Mod. Mousetrap on Commodore 64. Good stuff. How was that yeah. one? <laughs> I never had a Commodore. I, I didn't uh, get to play. I, my family had a ColecoVision at one point. Oh, okay. Which was a uh, competitor to the Atari world, but uh, never, not as big, not nearly as big. Whoa, Oregon Trail just showed up. Ooh. Nobody's confessing Pong is their first, though. So <laughs> that, that would be that would be the original first. I don't think you it's can't like play a video game before Pong. Yeah. <laughs> you played a video game before Pong, you're a liar. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> yeah, Oregon Trail was uh introduction to games that you can't possibly win uh 
It's like the predecessor to the Souls games now, which are just oppressive and make you upset. So, Is that you confessing you never beat Oregon Trail? I died of dysentery three minutes in, no matter what I did. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I, yeah, that was... Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Like it. So why am I snapping to weird angles on this thing? Um, I'm assuming that's your 15 degrees. I can't, the numbers are so tiny on my screen. But it's like, this is on axis, right? This is like the... Right. Let's see. Or maybe this is falling into the trap of the, uh, you know, it's a little bit off texture. Yeah, with the small, issue. tight texture like that, maybe you're just a teeniest, tiniest bit off. You can always type, you can always type dimensions in too, just like if you're. Oh, you can. Okay. So I can type zero. Or no, did that work? So it yes. Okay, so if I scale this a little bit. Okay, so if I make this a projected texture and then go into this thing. Mm -hmm. Why is it going did out you, so way? Did you click projected? I looked away for a second there. Yeah. And did you did you sample it? There you go. I don't know if that's it's still tiling, it's tiling, but uh yeah. Works. Yeah, that works. It works for what we're doing. That's right. That's how I normally talk. I know, that's was, was just regular pirate modeling voice. That was <laughs> totally, totally expected mm -hmm. in, the, in the skate video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess I can just try. Go to shop this. I like it. Okay, this yeah, the, uh, the original piece down below looks like there's a shadow from your floating pipe. <laughs> That'd be on. Uh, that would fit with this game. Like if you notice this <laughs> render, the rail's not even here. So <laughs> that's an aftermarket rail. <laughs> Okay, so here's an inference saying, okay, so maybe I'm just, okay, never mind. I answered my own question. All right, I like it. Self taught or teaching yourself, that's a good thing. Boom. Going in. Real sport. Okay, so I'm going to do a linear array and I'm going to divide. Six, actually five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then this one goes at the end. Going dirty here, but uh, starting to work it's, a little bit. I think this is all coming together. I'm just going to grab one of the default textures for this and see how it works. And as you pointed out, this is probably the. Uh, 
texturiest that's the right term uh models we've done in a long time yeah for better or for worse i don't know if people are learning anything here but uh hey i'm i'm remaking the first level of tony hawks so that's right that's all i care about Oops. Okay. Halfway through. Uh, we did we did have a question come through of uh do you have length snapping turned on? Ooh, probably. I just use a default template. Uh, where would that be? Yep. Settings. Um No, I'm sorry. It's uh I always confuse them. Uh go up. Yes, the other know. one. Yeah. <laughs> And units. Oh, units. All the way at the bottom. There you go. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. There you go. So what is length snapping? So like I had an idea. For the yeah. Right. The idea behind length snapping is when you start drawing anything, it's going to constrain and give you snap points at whatever that number is. So 16th of an inch, um, which in and of itself, you're drawing in a void isn't bad where it comes into an issue is if you're trying to connect two points, one to another, uh, SketchUp will prioritize the snap point to the actual geometry snap. So um, you can end up just off, which is possibly the issue we had with that. When you're breaking the bowl out and trying to texture it, uh, it was possibly an issue you're hitting that there. So there's situations where it makes sense, but if you're, you're kind of I mean, it's kind of gung-ho modeling right now where we're just going in and getting geometry in, and that's good. Hey, but, how dare uh, you gung-ho modeling? <laughs> As opposed to precision. We're not we're not in there like, sure. you know, 16th of an inch trying to get stuff perfect. So yeah. that's all. Okay. Um, I want to do this half pipe next. And the way yes. this looks is like this, where it kind of... Okay, so it has this just straight up flat angle on the side, on both right. sides, and then the quarter, like the half pipe on the inside, and it, you can see it goes down too. Mm -hmm. So this kind of rounded idea that right. resolves into the flat here. Um, I was thinking of using solid tools for this, but I don't know if you, like basically making the half pipe a solid, making this ramp thing a solid, and then making like this whatever, Roll so, or I don't know. Realistically, Lots. I think the whole thing is just another push pull. Ah. The, the the main, so that you know, like if you cut a slice through that half pipe, mm -hmm. drawing that shape with the ramps on the side, the you know the quarter pipe, the flat, the quarter pipe, and then the ramp on the other side. I would draw that all as one shape and push pull it out, mm -hmm. um, and then the transition from the ground dropping down into it they make it look awful smooth there <laughs> yeah but i'm like how that transition would actually happen uh might be a little bit odd i guess it depends on how many sides you put into your uh quarter pipe there but yeah i think it would be easier to because this could just push... yeah Okay, so mm -hmm. do the yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Pull that you. out, yeah, and then just stitch it together, kind of thing down there. Okay, that would be my thought. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so profile. So when I was looking at it, it looks like the half pipe is taller than these. Which how tall are these again? Now I forget. Twelve feet. So maybe we'll do 18 feet for like the full depth, you know, the in underground sure. part. And then, yeah. yeah. So I we were guess. talking about this earlier. It was kind of iconic that uh, that box that's kind of floating up above, like the weird office thing. Yeah. There. Yeah. It's like, what's going on in here? Yeah. 
I always heard stories of, oh yeah, you can go in there, or if you do something, you can achieve something and get in there. And I don't, I don't know if that's ever actually been true. I heard tell, I heard a rumor of in one of the like updated versions, they actually made that a reality. In the original game, I don't think that was the case, but. Okay. Oh, and so that's how I'm like tricking myself because this is like two different things. So what do we say? This is like maybe six feet down. So six feet up is where this ramp cool. starts. And it's like, this is not really halfway. Maybe like. Ooh, that's pretty steep. Just like eyeballing this. Is it? So you think it's like this, and then the half, the quarter for the half pipe is this transition? That seems insane. Yeah, I think this. I think you're. I just think you're too high. Oh, okay. So just have this lower. Yeah, if you look at if you look at the it's yeah I think that's if you look at it it's lower than the the obstacle over to the left. The one you already built. Uh, this one? Oh, right. Yeah. See, so you're lower than that. Right so, now you're about the same height. Yeah, but I'm thinking this is, so this is sunk down. I just don't know how much sunk down this is, you know. But I guess the, okay, so the ramp part. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> yeah. So so if you, but if you modeled in your your step up, like you said, so, so step up, go to the right side, step up six feet, and then go to the middle. I think you're good there. Okay. Yeah. Like this. Wherever that transition is. Yeah. And then. And this could even move over and be a little bit more. Yeah. This is where you get to model. You get to do what you want, Matt. You you do you. Okay. I'll do whatever is best in play testing, whatever, uh, you know, feels most natural. <laughs> Which I don't know. I watched a Let's Play just in pre preparation for this, and I don't know if anybody has recently played the first Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, not the like you know one and two or the updated games, the newer games that have this level in it. The controls are very hard to use, like <laughs> extremely. It's very. I use the D pad on N sixty four because it's just it's impossible to use the stick. I don't know if you ever played the game Skate. Uh, yeah, I did. Where that was the one where you you used your different feet with the different sticks. Yeah, that was. I did not do good at that. That, that was, takes uh, a little getting used to. Yeah. Yeah, that was not that was not a good thing for me. Then the old push pull and see how it looks. Yeah, should I like push this, like move this down or no? Not really. Just do it like this and then. Yeah, just eventually move for, it down. For, uh, yeah, exactly. I would say, see how see how that yeah. So, so it's like here that right? work, or would I go to? Um, I would bring out yeah, I would bring out the transition there. Okay. Yeah, and then I would. Yeah. Actually, that's I don't I was, know if that's enough flat. Actually, yeah, I'm building this more like a a real life ramp, but the the uh, video game Tony Hawk's physics ramp is not. We don't got we don't got room for reality here. Yeah, this is a game where in order to go faster, you just lean down. <laughs> <laughs> just hold, you know, hold the ollie button, and then uh, eventually you just speed up. So that's probably more realistic. Boom! Yes. <laughs> Everything was a vert ramp. <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh... It's a fun one. Okay, so I'll make this a component. Uh, HP half. It's a half pipe. Half of a half pipe. It's a pipe. But, but still not a quarter pipe. No, ever. Yeah. Dang, nice, nice eyeball in there, Tex. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so now drop those down there. And then I can. You might have to here. turn off your ground plane. 
which you were set up for. Look at that. Boom, man, on it. Okay, so here we go. I have this weird. Oh, that wasn't just fine. Hmm. Anyways, okay, we're moving on. We are. We're moving. Um, we're moving. Okay, so, so to. Yeah, you might have to trace out the. Your footprint here. I guess that this part could literally just be. Yeah, you draw an edge from. There. You have to do it out of context so you can see the your reference. Uh, and then just copy and paste in yeah. place. Doesn't want to grab that one for you. Go here. Simple. Easy does it, see? Um and then oh you could you could turn your reference off again because I think you could go from that corner down to the flat. Mm -hmm. Just like there. And then yeah, and then go from the if you want to do half of it, you go from the middle of the flat back. You have to draw a line across at the top. Okay. Um, yes, you mean? Sorry, that no, that the um, <laughs> I'm pointing to it right now, Matt. Can't you see? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Take that line across and constrain and snap to the middle of the flat. Okay. Yeah, and then, and then draw. There you go. Now all you got to do is loft that section right there. That's um, it? That's it. <laughs> so a <coughs> couple ways to go about that. So this is um, why I was thinking, could I just like, you know, have this longer? Or I guess here, if I did like this and then I like s scaled this particular face down or something. Yeah, you can always try. Is that just like rigging it up too much? <laughs> well, it won't. So you'd have to you'd have to take that entire end and scale it down to zero, which it won't let you do. So that you know what I'm saying that would have to come to a point. But I mean, um, like if I could scale this particular piece that it lines up with this one, like there. No, because you're still you have a rounded piece running into a flat section right there. So, you, you, so there's some stuff you could maybe do. Um, if you grab that end piece, the piece is closest to the camera. This that, that piece right there, yeah. Grab that and hit move, and move it by the top. Yeah, grab that point and snap it up to the right up there. Yeah, like that. So what you could do now is. Go ahead and exit there. Give me some cleanup to happen. Yeah. But take that piece right there and run it through. Sorry. So, yeah, no, that's perfect. Like, gra so grab the angled line on there. This one. Yeah, and hit move. And then move it to the right along the red axis. Just straight, you're going to drag it right through. It's going to make a mess. No problem. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then you could intersect those two faces together. And that would possibly work. I, it's this, kind of a weird... this one and, and this one, right? Here. But orbit around and see if that's that looks right. Yes, I mean it's a weird situation anyhow. But I think that seems right. Sure. Should have just downloaded Curve Loft before the stream, but wasn't thinking that far ahead. Yeah, like I said, or if you were to stitch and just take that endpoint back up over and over and over again, it's still a weird spot. I mean, this again. At this point, we're totally devoid of reality because that <laughs> that whole intersection wouldn't work. Yeah. But uh, yeah, in this case, yeah, there you go. Just delete that. And then you just have to clean that part up. So yeah, get rid of that. Or just these. Yeah, and then that piece too. I guess I, there, and then, yeah. I guess that's part of the ground, isn't it? Yeah, so then you just draw a line from that intersection back up to the corner. To yeah. this one, yeah. Yeah, because you move that stuff around. So it's kind of a, we're, we're trying to, oh, that's weird. 
What the? Save. <laughs> Can you draw it out of context? Can you just draw it out here? Draw that line from. Hmm. It's not really inferencing, not really working here. You got no points. You're not snapping anything. Okay. Well, at least I have this, and I can definitely Something. flip this little boy. That is true. Look at that. There's an inference point. Nice. Go back. Can you draw a line again now after you did something else? Huh. So I've I've run into this not regularly, once or twice where I couldn't snap to something. It usually has some weird context thing going on. So you might just try closing and opening again. Okay. Not a regular occurrence for sure, uh, but stuff happens. I'm going to blame the textures. Uh, yeah, it's got to be. Assuming that's why. <laughs> Some of these old, you know, definitely look at this. There's a Boy, devil machine. in the machine. That's right. Yeah. The problem. We're loading up. Okay. All right. Ooh. Okay. It is looking pretty sweet. So the idea is yeah, I guess I can turn this off. Well, extensions are still loading here. There we go. Yeah, can you just use that? And that's okay. Cool. Okay, right on. So this should be all it's pretty good. Should probably draw a ground plane in here, huh? Yeah, that would that would make a lot of sense, I suppose. And then just have that ground plane skip out around that obstacle since it goes below. I can just go straight up like this. That would work. So we got to pull it in a little bit on that side, but that works. On which side? Just the left corner right there as you're looking at it, or I guess the top corner. Oh, over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Just do a move. That. that will work. Yep. And we got a subterranean obstacle. Yes, we do. Okay. Um, cool. So now, okay, I should be able to put, do the same technique as I did for this, right? Absolutely. I guess I could even sample this maybe or not really because it's like a different plane. Oops. We're going to give it a shot. Okay, you can't position that. Right. But I could. If you pull, if you select the 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 ramp on the other side of where your mouse is right now, like you, so if you come back to, yeah, if you grab that material right there and try to put it on the bowl on the left or on the left side of the half pipe, does that work? Nope. Answer is no. Almost. Thank you very much for it's the right scale, but it's not. Okay. It's not the right spot. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's lower. That makes sense. Yeah. So could I just do like this and then you can. Here's my here we go. We're going for it. Uh this one. In model colors, going to grab the old ramp, our handy dandy ramp, and then position. Uh, is this one upside down? That's right, yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, make sure you go a little bit large to account for the. Uh, I'm going for some big air there. on this one. There you sure. go. Okay. Nice. Oops. This applied learning. He learned how to do this an hour ago, and he still remembers. That's that's knowledge, folks. That's not just uh, yeah. Beauty. All right. I think I did have a texture for the middle just of the ramp too. Straight wood texture. It's kind of like weird, dirty. I'm trying to. It's like, you know, a lot of wheel marks. Uh, I think it was called. Okay. Isn't it nice when textures are just flat? <laughs> You just do them like that. But every once in a while, you're just on a floor. Yeah. Not an assumed thing. Whatever. I'm just going to leave that. Okay, good. Um, reverse faces. Okay, and this one again is flat. That's great. This, here we go. Position the texture. And this is, it's a, you know, it's angled, but it's, uh, it's flat at least. See what that does on the corner there. Yeah, works. Yeah. I like it. I get because this geometry. I'm trying to think if I can. Can I just like go like this, and then? Oh, and then just put the. Uh, sure. Yeah, and in that one, turn it. A little bit of finagling here, but. Uh this it's funny because this is uh. You know, one of the things that we see a lot of people putting on is, ah, nice, nailed it, uh, wood textures and, uh, you know, like getting nice high definition wood textures and putting them on and end grain images and that kind of stuff. And you can kind of, kind of fake a lot of that stuff by just doing exactly what you did, reposition a texture just on a portion. You can use a grain to look like end grain if you do it right. Yeah, good stuff. Nice. Is that, uh, are those walls? What, what, what color are those in the image? Um, I think the walls are like brick kind of. I'm sorry, I meant the the uh the sides of the the white parts right there. Oh are they are they the ground texture? Uh they're definitely the ground texture. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if they actually are, but it's a lot easier to do <laughs> that than it is to mess with. Well, you said it was such conviction. I believed you, and uh <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. Stay strong. Just uh fake it till you make it. Okay. We have the reference image here. I guess now that we have our ground plane. Uh, it's kind of Z fighting a little bit, but we can still see through that. I guess maybe, let's see, we got 40 minutes left. Yep. What? Can you finish off this floor? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so these, these quarters could be a um, component. So it's, half of this and the other let's see what do we do for the top here probably some wait where did my 
Or am I, can I just straight up copy this? Wait a minute. What did it? Did you lose your textures on all that stuff? Oh, whoops. I must have painted on the outside of the. Uh, uh, you, just, the you, you don't have to undo. You can just paint it white again. Uh, OK, so this. No. Hmm. OK, I guess I didn't. <laughs> Maybe it did all get painted. Must have just been right there the floor. There we okay. go. All right. Okay. So is this connected to all those? Oh. Oh, maybe you triple clicked before you painted or something? Yeah, smart move, Matt. Ah, uh, there we go. Triple connect, triple click is a great way to uh, select all connected faces. Not necessarily what you want to do, though. <laughs> True. Uh, I'm just going to grab the Jurassic Park. You got so excited about whether you could, you didn't stop to ask if you should. <laughs> Okay. Passing this along, Ty's wondering if you maybe you should save or something. Good idea. Especially after fixing all, right, all those windows. heading out. Thanks, Slower. Have a good afternoon, evening, day, whatever you got going on. Enjoy it. Yeah. This is not in plane, is it? This. Because it was part of this little angle. Okay. Mm. Um, I suppose, let me see. If I just want to like, copy this quarter and then throw it over there. Yeah, you could grab, yeah, I'll grab it like, yeah, exactly. Grab that, I... grab that chunk and copy. Yeah, just do a group select like that. Copy and then close out of here, paste it, make a new group for component. Nice way to way to optimize. Oh yeah, very textured too. That's great. I hate to say it's the wrong texture, but oh, now well. I'm the texture maestro. Yep. So I. Officially textured more than I ever have in a live stream at this point. <laughs> Which I, I mean, I do, I, we, we should say that there's nothing wrong with texturing. Texturing, of course, is great. It's how you take your, your model to another level of detail. It's, it's an awesome thing to do. Uh, we end up leaving it out of a lot of live streams just because we, we got to think about where we put our time and energy. So Matt's uh, taking this to the next level and actually doing what the rest of us are too scared to do, basically, is how I'm seeing this. <laughs> or you're just like, eh, I'd rather show off modeling. And I'm like, oh, I'm no good at modeling. I'm no good at texturing either, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you have more online hours right now than we do anyone else does so there's that okay so hmm. looking nice Thanks. Okay, so here's this is why I'm doing this for. Maybe this is not the right way to do this, but um, because this was like part of that angle, you can see it's like kind of off a little bit. So mm -hmm. now that I have the texture in there, and I'm kind of just going off the texture, mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to use this to intersect and then delete because this isn't a closed face. Is that a way to do that? That sounds perfect. Yeah, absolutely.
pull that over there and of course that uh not quite 90 degree texture is going to work in both directions so oh. <laughs> but, hey it should still work Oop, i think you just intersected the plane and not the geometry yeah oh there it goes boom we got it cool oops okay so nice Want to check this, and I also wanted this because these are kind of repeating here. I'm just going to try to make this half of this little distance. Mm -hmm. So, can I just do this? Yeah. So if you scale it, flip it around so we can see the face. Yeah. So scale that to the midpoint. And then you should be able to copy it and just place it right there. Cool. Oh, all right. Um, okay, cool. And then nice. this gap. And yeah, looks like it basically goes, you know, one here, and then there's one. Oops. Yeah, so you're missing those, missing that block in the middle. I have to go back to your reference and model that up. Yeah, this thing you mean, or like this piece, or what are you talking about? Um, sorry, I was watching the uh, the live, <laughs> so I uh, got a little off there. But yeah, that that chunk that rises up in the middle. Um, Like the big ramp here. And like yeah. Basically, that's yeah. all. But I mean, I think that's probably pretty. I, I bet all this stuff is on something of a grid in the actual model. So I think you're probably yeah. pretty safe there. But yeah, well, that's good. Okay, and then just for kind of for time, I'm just going to assume that these are metal too. And that works. And I guess this goes back to this. Ah, there. Did that go all the way back? top of the field. Okay, what other pieces if I want to... Ooh, one thing I wanted to do was to... Okay. Okay, so I have a couple more things I want to do, but I don't have enough time to do them all. <laughs> so... All right. Should I do the kind of the the rest of the topography, like the walls, this extra building up here, and like the top ramp part? I kind of wanted to do the boxes. I feel like the boxes are cool. Or right, the well, taxi. The I mean the taxis. The taxi. I'm one. taking taxi out of it. I okay. guess. Uh, <laughs> what what do you guys think? Should should uh, Matt model the rest of the geometry or should he start modeling garbage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see where you stand on it because you're the the model guy. You're like, I don't I don't care about boxes. Boxes? I can model boxes in 20 seconds. Boxes. No, I, absolutely. No, we got we got less than half an hour left. So what do you guys think looking at this model right here? What's what's the thing for him to tackle? I, I honestly I like those big ramps coming from that weird second story room. I've never really understood how this this structure exists in reality. Like yeah, like how, how do you start you up here? here? Yeah, where's the door? There's yeah. a door here. Exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> in the thing you can't get to. Um, <laughs> so my my thought is those big curvy ramps and that uh, that 
box hanging over the half pipe. Those would be the those would be my thoughts for what you could work on. But uh, let's let's see yeah, what that's a good the idea. chat has to say. Halls came in first and said that office block. Uh, Chip is asking for the door that we can't find. Thanks, <laughs> Chip. <laughs> well, there's the one above the uh, half pipe. Maybe that's what he's talking about. This kind of area. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the the because it did look kind of like an office. All right. Anybody else throw out those ideas? Ty's a big fan of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, <laughs> I think the boxes would be cool, but um, right. I'm happy to do the other stuff. You you do. I mean, at the end of the day really the rest of us can say whatever we want but you got the mouse so you model what you want to model yeah true <laughs> uh one of the great all-time polls on sketchup live history we model just a couple of <laughs> a couple of boxes or like the rest of the model hmm um <laughs> that's marketing it's all in the phrasing right there uh Okay, how far does this go up? Kind of to the back here, so like here. Seems about right, right? This will go here. Oops. That's good. I think that's a. I like it. You can just grab that whole. Whoops. Mm, I should have. I did joke er earlier this week that I was going to be uh, modeling without any groups or components, and so I'm for fulfilling that uh, idea here. Okay. You do that grab, grab that select you just did before, like this one. Yeah, and then just shift click on the big component. There you go. Nice. There you go. Okay. That'll work. Do a ramp. like it though i gotta say if that's like uh two three stories tall it'd be a little intimidating to roll down yeah i wouldn't want to be the one to have to roll in and then you know holly across this half pipe <laughs> through the office um yeah Okay, I'm gonna scrap these little boys. Put them up here. There is also a screen thing. It goes like here. Oops. Uh, do, do, do. It's coming along. I like it. What do we got? Yeah, you did get uh, you got some good good feedback. Uh, your model's looking rad. Oh, dude. So <laughs> yeah, take that all as positive positive notes for sure. One hundred percent. You know, I think that little the the little 
It looks like a container building, like like a shipping container office that hangs over the the half pipe. Yeah. Um, I think you'll be able to knock that out. I mean, I've seen you draw rectangles. You you got that down. <laughs> um, I appreciate the enthusiasm or not enthusiasm. What do you call that? Um, optimism, the support. I don't know something. Faith. I have faith in you. Yes. You can do it. Where's that piece? Okay. So maybe let's just start with a wall over here. Just helps me kind of visualize it. Probably most people would be like, why would you put a wall there? Um, and then So, this goes like kind of how high up is that? Twice as tall as the half pipe? Roughly. Doink. <laughs> That's some precision modeling here. <laughs> well, it's the sound effect really made that work. <laughs> The, Pardon me. The doink that made that brought it in, <laughs> and then it comes out like halfway in a pathway. Like it. You have a glass texture from this thing. Glass. Good. Oops. Simple. This can just be dark, whatever. Whoa. Okay. I like it. Like that uh, see through see throughiness. Yeah, that's where the secret tape is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a secret tape real quick. I was just gonna say, is that is that what's next? <laughs> it's basically like a cardboard box, but better hmm. <laughs> Paul's is saying it looks like a uh, level from Quake. And I think uh, given that it was about the same time, it's probably the exact same textures that were used in <laughs> a lot of these. Yeah, just get that. I had heard, I, I, I believe, I don't know why this wouldn't be true, but I had heard that uh, there was a limited number of textures available to developers for like the N64 and some of those early consoles. Mm -hmm. So you could only really make stuff with those materials. So that's why a lot of the stuff like you run around Halo and the wall is the same as it, the basketball court in the NBA games, like that kind of stuff. So <laughs> uh, like that makes sense.
There you go. Yes. Secret tape ready. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Gotta break through the glass to get it. There we go. Break through. <laughs> Why not rotate it just a little bit? Those little touches, you know? That's right. Shows you care. Okay. We are. Oops. What are I do? I don't want to bother you, but the backside of the tape's blank. Yeah. Okay. Backside is blank, so you can record what your own ah, personal I stuff see. on it. Yeah. There you go. You hook it up to the radio and put Green Day on there. <laughs> okay. And then there was two support beams. And I say they're square. Two foot. Two foot. Three, three. We had a recommendation from Boo on YouTube okay. as a idea for something we could model. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, take turns and model the different rooms from the board game Clue and then put them all together. Oh, that's a great idea. That is pretty cool. He's, and uh, just I, just to, to I, I'm I'm workshopping his recommendation, but Everybody could come in, pick a room, do a room, and then also do a weapon along with it. You know, Ooh, model the uh, yeah. model the candlestick or the wrench or a rope. Ty Tyson has to do the rope though, because he, <laughs> he he's done ropes before. Yeah, that could be kind of fun. That'd be a good one. Yeah, great, great idea. I like it. You know, it's funny. I don't know how often it happens. It happens way too often. I, I do know how often it happens that uh, you model something like that, and there's a 50 50% chance that uh, you'll get the right outside. But I feel like 80% of the time, that 50 50% chance goes wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I started on the uh, on the ground. I think that's, that's my, <laughs> my problem there. Like it. Oh, look at that. Don't even need help. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man. That got uh, cocky so... too quick. <laughs> oh, it's got okay, a cool look. Stepped wood, yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, this is where my little gizmo is giving me more harm than good here. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's the uh, it's the snapping again, you know. Yeah. Well, that's good. Hey, what Son happened there? Is that texture projected? Hmm. Doesn't say projected. Try that. Try turn projected on. Turn it on. Okay. Nope. Not that. Sorry, I, I got to apologize. I referred to Boo. I think I said he. I apologize. Boo is a she. And uh, sorry about that. They. That was the, the coverall. Yep, that works. Nice. Sweet. OK. Dang, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I'm going to do some textures on this wall. You Let's... sure new textures and not uh, take your last 15 minutes to model a box? <laughs> hey, I look. I don't know. <laughs> I think I like the box. It's part of the... Uh... Okay, here. So there is some <laughs> other things that we need. We need oh, to... We need to get the skate letters in here. Um, and that is very important. Did you investigate the uh, the font used? 
I did impact. That makes a lot of sense. Too small. Okay. And let's see what color yellow, right? I'm just painting on the outside. Don't hate. No, nope. it works. There's certain situations where it works. Um, I think the T is on top of the half pipe. Yep. You, know, you could consider yes putting those numbers in uh, beforehand, but your call, your call. Oh, like just doing it. Like yeah. You'd... That's true. And then you could scale it all to the same size at once and then that explode makes... them and regroup them. That way you're not guessing and they'll be the same size. Yeah, that's smart. Instead of just doing it like the very first thing that comes into my head. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong with doing whatever comes into your head first? <laughs> Oof, I like it. I have to go... Uh... See if there's a version available for next gen consoles. Yeah. Yeah, there probably is uh something. At least one and two. Didn't that come out in um 2020 or something? Yeah. I find it pretty awe inspiring that you remember where the letters are. <laughs> I looked that up before. Okay. But I do kind of remember. Because I always remember the T is the first one you see. And then it's like, why is why is it here? Why is right. it not S? I think E is up here. No, nope, not like that. Not like this. Not like nice. this. I guess these are kind of continuously rotating so we can do them in different. S U. Ah, Slugor's or suggesting that uh, you see the T first because it's for Tony. Ah, that makes sense. Hard to argue with that. I, that that logic seems bulletproof. Um, I don't remember where this. Just put in a random spot. Um, maybe up here. Is so one up in the room? Oh. Up in here or up here? No, I was seeing, yeah, but I don't remember. I have I zero recollection of that at all. If anybody remembers where the A goes, let me know. I think it's in the wrong spot. Um, Man, it's looking pretty sweet. Yeah, it's coming together you, a little bit, right? There's no cardboard boxes, but I still think it looks good. Yeah, maybe we already... We already beat that goal, so. Um. <laughs> no, I think I, I mean, you you did uh, some head down, get her done modeling that I uh, really appreciate. There, I think that turned out really good. Yeah, I know when to waste time on just like stupid small stuff, which is actually I don't know when. I know I just don't know when not to do that. But yeah, uh, it's a skill that. I don't have either. <laughs> I won't comment. That was cool. And there's that nice touch too of uh, his main notice that he has, oh, actually you should probably turn lines off now that you're done modeling because that's actually what it looks like. Or edges, I mean. Oh, yeah. Those gray edges, I think, look look pretty sharp compared yeah, to the black. Yeah, they do kind of look cool. But uh, if you're really going for the Tony Hawk look, you got to turn that all all together off.
I do have the door texture for this. Mm -hmm. Yo, doors. Putting up doors, everybody. Nice. Dang. It was reversed because I was on... Is that because it's on a back face? Is that why it shows up reversed or because I... Yeah, I wonder if the... Ooh, I didn't have to play with that. Yeah. That's not, that, what you said sounds very logical, so I'm just going to say yes. There is some extra kind of... Uh, we, we have confirmation. Dubs31 let us know that the A is above the taxi. Ah, the taxi. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you save first? Oh. Just find the lowest poly. I think this taxi itself in the real game is probably four polys, so. Yeah. Um, that's why the filter by poly count is very helpful. Super, super. Down, down, down. Less than a thousand. Boom. What do we got? Oh, some nice options for for a low poly count. Yeah. This one looks about right. I'm yeah, doing this. One. I would take it. It does have that first gen or second gen look. Yeah, that blocky, Ooh, that blocky wrap. feel. Yeah, blocky. And then so I'm just gonna. That's. Perfect. Nope, not in place. This doesn't matter. Honestly, this is a lot of what the box modeling was probably going to be like, anyways. I mean, just kind of <laughs> rotating stuff around to make it look like it's a bunch of different pieces when it's not really. But if you look, I mean, in the game, it looks like. A potentially oops that was that supposed to be there but yeah yeah <laughs> it works okay so here's a question for you this is kind of all right. rotated all out of plane right mm -hmm. suppose i want to put this like on the car's hood so it's like you know like it's just coming straight down from the car's hood mm-hmm What's like a rotate tool trick to get that done properly? Well, you can get anything back to flat with three rotations, right? Okay. So if you hit Q right now, hit the up arrow to lock in the blue axis, mm -hmm. grab one corner, and then grab the next corner. Yep, rotate from there, grab the next one, and then rotate that back so you're on the boom red axis. Okay. All right. And now Q again. You're still in it. Hit the right arrow. Okay. I guess left arrow actually would be, yeah. Okay. To get Same this thing. One. Those two points again. And that will take that back to flat. Yeah. Snap to, there you go. Oh, cool. And then one more. So, yeah. Anytime anything's out of, out of uh, alignment, you can always get back with three rotates. Perfect. And you can just mirror those two on the other side. Yeah. Sorry, I'm jumping all right. around here. Before the stream, right. I was telling Aaron about how, uh, you know, people are so used to his, like, nice, smooth, you know, he's got the 3D mouse and everything. And I'm like, I'm just modeling like a maniac, just cruising around, you know. Jumping, Absolutely. You know, this kind of thing. Oh, hey, everybody. You like watching, like watching the live stream this week? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh ty ty did call out your uh obvious uh end of stream panic modeling like quick get it done get it done quick <laughs> and uh absolutely slugor is saying that uh, one of his favorite set design jobs was making cars for death race in sketchup oh eight weeks of messing around sketchup listening to music and having fun that does sound like a great time i like it
Nice. Well, dang, I got to say that uh, less than two hours, that is a pretty impressive model. Thanks. Okay, I got five minutes left. I'm going to do these boxes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to happen. Love it. I'm okay. assuming this is you got a, some some prime uh, textures in here. I have all the box things, and I'm ready to use them. Ooh, that is very close. Dang. Okay. Box. There we go. So you guys thought boxes was going to be boring, but no. I'm here to prove you wrong. Straight up. You're not going to 100% the game if you don't get the boxes. I think uh, next week I want to, uh, I, th I think somebody should come back and model a renderable hero box that we could, you know, take into V-Ray. Yeah, that's, uh... you don't think I can tack that on? <laughs> You could use one of these. Are boxes are render ready, my friend. That's like everything else in the model. I see that. Looking pretty sharp. Box. Oh, come on. Just want to get underneath this old boy. Yep. Oh. Okay, cool. And then good looking box. Dang right it is. I guess I could use stamp here, can I? Ooh, yeah, just put it where you need it. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. Guys, we're going to introduce a little randomness here just to make sure. That whoa, whoa, are... whoa. Stuff just got so crazy, man. <laughs> Fragile. Let's do stamp again. Who remembers where the boxes go? One goes here. One goes here, one goes here, one goes here, and one goes here. This wow. one goes bye-bye. I don't know if I'm more impressed by your modeling or your recollection. <laughs> I have played this I level like quite a few times. I remember actually in the, back in the SketchUp, uh, the Boulder office, I, uh, yeah. And during lunches, sorry, I'm like trying to finish this up real quick. <laughs> um, at lunch, I would speed run this game. Uh, I don't think anybody in the knowledge team liked it, but I would try to beat the entire <laughs> game over over lunch break. Like it, Ty. Ty's still on here. Ty, do you remember Matt speed running uh, Tony Hawk in your your neck of the woods? Okay. It is... like get, rid of, get rid of the edges. I want to see. I want to see it look like. Uh, oh yeah. Styles. Those edges off. Doing edges profiles. There we go. Okay. Should we try with shadows or who cares? Shadows. Whoa. What, what, what kind of game is this? Is a... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Hot dog. Okay. Done. That looks pretty cool. Looks pretty good. <laughs> I, I think you should be very satisfied. Well done. Thanks. Hey, I'm stressed, man. I was stressed before this. I'm stressed now. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was fun. Thanks for sticking around great. with me and uh, people who watch live. Hey, thanks for for watching as I kind of uh, you know modeled my way, <laughs> which probably is not your way and probably is not the right way, but uh, is a way. Uh, I it. 
you can't argue with results. You less than two hours, you have Tony Hawk skate level. I mean, now we just need a Ruby uh, Ruby developer to make a Tony Hawk script where I can now I can jump right into this level and play it. Fire up MS Physics, get in there, do it. That's good. Yeah, will do. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, and right on time. Look at that. 201. Boom. Nailed it. I'm all about, uh, like I said, I was Bro. trying to go quick and, uh, you know, not mess too much stuff up. But uh, yeah, hey, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for uh, hanging around with us. Thanks for uh, the great comments and suggestions. Um, like Aaron mentioned at the top of the show, we have uh, 3D Basecamp if you're interested in SketchUp. Uh, if you don't know what 3D Basecamp is, it's SketchUp's every other year user conference uh, where all the best SketchUp people in the entire world, and if you're just looking to learn SketchUp, Everybody's SketchUp is going to be there. So there's going to be uh, training. There's going to be, you know, industry experts showing off their cool workflows. Uh, there's going to be a fun party. There's going to be, you know, a bunch of the people from the SketchUp team will be there. Aaron's going to be there. I'll be there. Um, so, yeah, if you're looking to get better at SketchUp or just expand your horizons and learn different uh, kind of technologies that you should be using to, uh, you know, get a level up in your industry, 3D Basecamp is the place to do it, the time to do it, is uh, November. Uh, but tickets are on sale now, and uh, early bird pricing is in effect. So you do save money if you get tickets before November. If uh, you know you don't want to procrastinate that to the very last moment. So um, yeah, get your tickets now, and uh, hopefully we'll see you uh, in Las Vegas. That's where it'll be this year, Las Vegas, Nevada. So um, I look forward to seeing you there. It's gonna be great. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, I don't think there's anything to say besides that. Um, besides, you know, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, everybody. Yep. See you guys. Thank you. Adios.